As I shared last week in starting this series, I think that a lot of times, even as Christians dealing with the controversies of the world, we get sidetracked on the wrong issues. It's not that they're unimportant issues. It's just not they're, they're not the main issue. The main issue that, as I brought out last week, is this. How do you take the first verse of the Bible? Because the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Man, on the other hand, as we even saw in the video, says that evolution is how. And that we should simply ex accept that as fact. Now, we're not talking, as the video pointed out, of microevolution. Microevolution is adaptations or changes within a species. We can see that. We all get that, okay? Darwinian evolution, what it's talking about is macroevolution. Cats becoming dogs. Now, for those of you that don't like cats, that probably sounds like a really good thing, but it doesn't happen, okay? Pigs becoming men. Some women think it works in reverse, but even that doesn't really happen. Okay? Macroevolution, there's zero evidence of any species moving from one species to another. But again, evolution wants us to believe that if you give it enough time, that in the past, before now, billions and billions of years, there were all of these beneficial mutations and adaptations where simple cells became complex cells and those cells went on to become reptiles and mammals and ultimately humans. William Paley, many of you have heard his name years ago, I thought, had one of the best illustrations of this idea. Imagine walking through a forest and stumbling upon a watch. Now, this was in the day when watches had springs and gears, and some of you are maybe too young to know that was the way watches were at one time. But a normal, rational person would not pick up that in the middle of the forest and go, oh my gosh, you know, over billions and billions of years with mutations and adaptations, little pieces of glass, little pieces of metal formed themselves into this device that I'm now holding in my hand. You would never come to that conclusion. The very fact that that device, that watch in this case, shows evidence of design indicates there must have been a what? A designer, okay? We get that. It works in everything else. Why are we being led to believe that it doesn't work in terms of this issue of how life began? 